Urban Meyer's out of a job for uh, the moment. Uh, I think we all saw this sort of coming on the field, off the field, all the different things that were going on. First, the team was terrible. Uh, we only had two two wins. Unfortunately, one against the Buffalo Bills, but I'll leave that alone. Oh, At any rate, uh, I had to get that in. It's the holiday I season. Know. You know what I mean? Just a little hug from over here. <laughs> uh, but at any rate, um, listen, Urban Meyer didn't work, and it's great. It's like anything else. When you're at a job or in a relationship or somewhere in which it's not working out, terrible communication, terrible vibe, he made fun of his coaches, he kicked the kicker. I mean, of all the people you're going to kick, I guess you would kick the kicker. Um, but then all of the stuff off of the field, it just wasn't a good fit. He's not meant to be a pro uh, a head coach in the NFL. It was clear, and I was concerned the Jaguars were going to be like, let's give it a year. I think they did the best thing to get I out of it. I think the curiosity thing is that a, a person with this personal profile is as successful as he's been over a long period of time. I'll tell you why, because he had ultimate control in college. He was able to do whatever the heck he wanted. You know how this stuff goes, man. He got boosters that are willing to spend money, keep mouths shut, kids that are afraid to raise their voice because they're going to lose their scholarship. So he has the ultimate say on everything. And the funniest part about this whole story, because look, the fact is, and I've made this point before, you can't be a successful college football coach and a good person at the same time. And all of these guys continue to get exposed over and over again. You guys laughed at me at the no, time no, no, no. as to why he was fired. It's not because he's a piece of crap. It's because the world is soft today. And I'm paraphrasing, but that's what he said. Like, for example, be more like his family, right? Like his family didn't say a word when he internationally <laughs> embarrassed them, when he was caught on film in his own bar getting grinded on by a woman. You know why? Because they're tough. That's why. Be tough like my family. Let a woman rub her butt on my crotch area and then go back to work. You know what she made a year? I wouldn't say a word either. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the press conference. The guy gets up there and says, I've been fired because I'm a piece of crap. He is a piece of crap! <laughs> 